How engineers do it? Before we start today's video, I would like to ask all my viewers to subscribe to my YouTube channel How Engineers Do It. So share the video among all of your friends and also hit the bell icon to never miss another update. In this video, we will learn all about the indirect function in Excel. Indirect function basically converts the text into a valid cell reference in a formula. Now, let's see what indirect function have done in this uh, particular example and let's also look at the data which we are going to work on. Now this is the data here and we have the list of suppliers on the left side and on the uh, uh, columns you can see that the list of items are there and you, you have the data over here of uh, the different grades of these items which are supplied by the different suppliers. Now here in the summary what I'm going to do is I am going to list all the different items supplied and the grades here from 0 to 4 and uh, here the the grades are basically going to get counted for example milk for example in milk you can see in milk here milk over here now in milk how many grade 0 is there in this now how many grade 1 is there in this how many grade 2 is there in this this is one again this is what is going to get counted all right now we can do this very easily using the indirect function you can already see that the indirect function is used now let's just quickly add another sheet here which has summary 2 as a name and let's get started so what i'll do first is i'm just going to take this list here and i'm going to transpose it so that I have this entire list here and here I'm going to add grade 1, grade 0, here grade 1. Alright, once I have these two I'm just going to drag it towards the right so that I have uh, grade 0 to grade 4 here. And I'm going to do some little bit of uh, formatting here and here I'm just going to write items versus grade right and here I'm just gonna give another uh, color here and also make it, make it bold and here I'm just going to insert the table format all right now what we'll do first is we'll use the count of now basically you can count the number of zeros for coffee so for that what's the range range is for coffee right so it is c and we are going to count the criteria is zeros now we got the zeros here now in the next one we're going to count for t right now t goes d now you can see that there's a pattern it's going c d e f g something like that now usually in formulas we can uh, equip the relative references but in this case if you're just going to drag it down it's going it's not going to be like c d e it's not going to come like that all right now if i do for another cell and i'm going to come over here it's for t right so you can see that dd is coming and you have to search for zeros you can see that that's how it is now we can do this easily using the indirect function now i'm going to show you how you can do that all right now what we'll do is c d e we need the different alphabets in this format now if you are dragging it downwards if you're not getting the uh, alphabets in the order then you will have to configure it now i'm just going to quickly show you how you can configure that all right Now you can just go to uh, you can go to Google and uh, get from A to Z and then put in your data all right and you can take this go for data and uh, go for text to columns and delimited next 
we can take col uh, comma as a separator next and finish all right now we have it now we just go for home and go for format painter and just format it all right remove this first space here and go to the last one remove this dots here this is going to create problem if you're not doing it in the right way so just do it as it is what i've done and just go for file and go for options and in here you can go for advanced and go down to the uh, the list the edit the custom list and go for import and just select from a to z and come back here import add all right okay and okay now we have that list now even if you delete this it's not going to create any issues you can go ahead and delete it without any worries because your excel is configured with that list now C D E right so we'll just drag it downwards and you'll get till W and you can see that vegetable oil is W you can you can just go ahead and check if vegetable oil is W it's W that's right now come back over here and what you do is just put a semicolon here and just put it till down and now what you can do is you're just trying to create this reference this reference okay data cc okay now equal to this one ampersand this one ampersand this one enter and if you just drag it downwards you can see cde everything is coming now if you try to apply that that's going to work but before that we need also the sheet reference you know so that the uh, the reference is checking for that particular sheet here now we'll just come back over here and we'll just add that as well data exclamation and put another ampersand and just put it downwards and you have that right now all you have to do is just replace this part with indirect function now as i've explained previously indirect function what it does is it converts the text to a valid cell reference now this is actually a text it's just a text now I'm gonna put this in the formula with the indirect function now what happens is it converts to a cell reference so I'm just gonna put this close the bracket All right now if I just apply it down you can see that it's working perfectly right yeah now we need to do this for grade 1 grade 2 grade 3 right now in this formula what will change here all that will change is from 0 it will become 1 so in order to do it in an easy way what we can do is 0 1 and you can just drag this towards the right all right now here you can just replace it with this C1 over here. Now, when we drag the formula towards the right, it should move from C, D, E, right? So, C should not be a fixed one. What should be fixed is the rows. So, just put a dollar here. Alright. Now, also, when you drag the formula downwards, when you drag the formula right towards the right, the columns should not change. Now, I'll just show you. I'm just going to drag this towards the right and you can see that there is a reference that's coming that's because this is moving towards the right all right now in order to stop that what you do is you just come back over here and you just fix the columns so just fix the columns here by putting the dollar sign that's all now we just move towards the right and it's gonna work perfectly I just uh, drag it downwards and everything is coming in a perfect way so that's all about uh, this indirect function also i just want to show you one quick thing over here you can see that i'm just going to remove this all right you can see that this this particular whatever is written over here let's just write uh, um, hi right you can see that this cell is named as blue 
right this cell is named as blue now if I type over here equal to indirect and if I'm gonna write if I'm just gonna put this as the reference now this text is getting converted into a valid cell reference now whatever is there in this text now it is blue right now if I just close the bracket you can see a high is coming the main reason being blue redirects it to this particular cell because the cell name is blue here all right now also if I put a double quotes here then it's gonna come as just blue because then it converts it as just a it's just as a string or a character all right so, so this was just an additional information if this confused you nothing to worry just practice this and uh, this will clarify all your doubts about the indirect function so i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much and stay tuned